I've been a big movie fan ever since my mum took me to see Born Free back in ooh, 1972. And I used to come to this place, the Granada in Walthamstow, where I saw countless films. Sadly, it's closed down, as have many independent cinemas across the whole of London. They've been replaced by multiplexes. And they haven't just replaced the buildings that we go and see movies in, but also the way we see pictures. However, if you look closely enough, there are still some places where traditional cinema is alive and well. Built in 1910, The Phoenix is London's oldest working cinema. And over the years, it's shown thousands of films. Hello, are you Peter? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I hear you've got a projector. Yes, sir. Well done. The man who's projected them for quite some time now has a story that could be a script from any one of them. I was lucky enough to be led further and further up into the gods to a magical room of spools, bobbins and flickering lights. It goes on. Yeah, it goes on, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got the interest in cinema when, when I was at school. Uh, the geography teacher asked, was, was there anyone feeling bright today? So, ah, I put my hand up. And, he, and his our idea was to see if he, he had any of his class pupils intelligent enough to start a 16 millimeter projector. And uh, he put a couple of things wrong. The, the focus was miles out and there was hardly any sound. And he wanted to find out if there was someone in the class to uh, uh, rectify and, and put a decent uh, picture on. And then I stood there and I thought, yeah, I wonder what it's like to uh, work in a real cinema show, real film. You just, you just turn the handle right. and hold it like that. Right. Turn the handle. Yeah. Right. And hold it like that. Is that all right? Hang on, there we go. Look at Yay. that. Right, now, slow, 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 slow down, slow down. Slow, what, what? No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, look, you, it's all over the place. You're a smashing beginner, ain't you? Hey, look at it. Where was your first job, then? Uh, the Odeon Cinema on North Finch Street. And what were you doing? You weren't a projectionist uh, straight no, away, No, 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 you, you was uh, uh, in the position of a trainee, which was a glorified T-boy to the chief operator and uh, introduced her to, to, to the room and, and mops and buckets and, and floor cloths and uh, uh, polishing cloths. Went up the ladder from the trainee, fourth projectionist, third, second, senior second, and, and, uh, and uh, 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 um, temporary chief. And then I came here, days went into weeks, weeks went into months, years rolled by, uh, uh, and, and, and I'm still, still here doing it. How many years is it now? Uh, I'll be, I'll be, uh, in, in September, I'll be half a century in the job. Half a century. Half, a yeah, 50 years, half a century. There's something about the Phoenix that makes people stay. For those downstairs in the comfort of the beautiful red seats, it's the mix of obscure as well as mainstream films that entices them back. I kind of think, well, if they're showing it here, it must be good for some reason or another, even if you've never heard of them. Um, so you kind of give films a chance. Probably the earliest memory I have of coming to the cinema is in 1981. I was about 10 at the time, and it was Gone with the Wind. I keep up records of every sort of film I've gone to see at the cinema. Um, my parents started it for me. You've got a diary of every film you've ever seen? And every <laughs> stage play and circus. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's very useful when it comes to interviews. I can tell you it was the 28th of July, 1981. I saw Gone with the Wind here. <laughs> the first time I sort of truly saw the sort of impact of you know, proper adult film on a big screen. And I just sort of fell in love with it. And I was there for about three hours watching Gone with the Wind, had an intermission. And I just fell in love with films, fell in love with cinema, and in more particularly this cinema. What's your favourite film? Gone with the Wind. Uh, that, that is a very sweet memory for me. Uh, I, I showed it uh, at the Odeon Finchley on its first Odeon release. Uh, when I came here, uh, it, I, I showed it on uh, its first independent cinema release, and I showed it uh, uh, twice since then. 
uh, and, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. The, only, the, the other uh, one, the, uh, the, uh, my favourite, is the Glenn Miller story. When the big numbers came on, turn the sound up a bit. Em emphasise it. And then, and then after, after it finished, turn it back down to normal. Then turn it back up again for the, for the next number. One, one wonderful way, way of uh, working. People here are passionate about film. It's not just a business. They don't make more money selling popcorn and, and coke than, than they do, um, you know, making money on entrances to the cinema. Um, their primary concern is the films, not the pick and mix machines. It's a really beautiful auditorium. Um, they've got the lovely friezes along the walls, yeah, they are stunning. Um, which were for many years were covered up in the sort of the years of. Uh, you know, clean lines and were sort of oh, uncovered. They, boarded, boarded they were all they? boarded up oh, for some time um, and then they were uncovered and of course they were pristine behind there. So for, for people now, by our generation, that are into sort of more of the architecture of cinema. The cinema was my saviour. I actually lived on the streets for a while before, before getting, getting lodged in, so then, uh, then became an alcoholic. Now I help my job, I, I, I don't know. Were well, you still working while you were sleeping on the streets then? Yeah. How was that? Was what you, where were you sleeping? Uh, well, I was sleeping up anywhere. I was uh, getting my head down. Uh, and I used the cinema as a wash and brush up. Something uh, dramatically happened that uh, I came here drunk, I messed the shower, People complained, they, they, they got money back, uh, and to uh, keep my job, the next day I said, right, what do I do? Keep on drinking, I lose my job, or pack up drinking and go, go to give myself cold turkey and uh, carry on working, which I did. What has been the highlight of being a projectionist for you? The, the biggest great and greatest joy of, the, of working actually here is to meet uh, meeting my uh, uh, now uh, wife. Oh, right. You met your uh, wife here? Yeah, uh, uh, I actually married the uh, manageress, so I man married the boss. The recent event is uh, uh, the, my length of service to the cinema being uh, awarded uh, an MBE with the... Uh, oh, Joe, uh, MBE? Yes, with uh, the um, his honours list of like, last year. Wow. For being projected, uh, for, uh, be, uh, being, uh, for my long services to the uh, Phoenix Cinema. Mm -hmm. The I met was uh, uh, the, the, the Prince Charles, who presented me with the medal, and that was a great joy in, in uh, doing that. What did he do? What did he say? Oh, he said, comes back, uh, he pins on, oh, I richly deserved. I said, thank you, sir. Are you still working? <laughs> yes, sir. The most magical thing, you know, I've, I've seen it many times on television, on, on film, actors and actresses driving through the gates, driving through the arch, coming out, flashing their, their big medals, driving out. That was the most magical part. There was loads of people with, uh, uh, with uh, cameras and uh, flashing uh, uh, to my family. Oh, practice your royal wave. And there was, there was in the car flashing, oh, this is, he must be famous, or they must be famous. Fantastic. It's Fantastic. One, one you know, winding on that film was a lot harder than it looks. Peter has a definite skill. By the way, I've started keeping a diary for my sins on our website. It'll tell you all that's been going on during the making of this series. Log on to www.bbc.co.uk slash inside out and click on London. Well, that's about it for tonight. I have found what I'll be listening to later on. And don't forget, you can have your say on the whole issue of paparazzi on Sadie Nine Show on BBC London 94.9 tomorrow evening. Until next week, goodbye and take care. Next week on Inside Out, how Kent police are cracking down on London's drug dealers. Titles for sale, but are they worth the paper they're written on? and the fans getting Speedway back on track.